Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, look, Crumbella, shooting star. Make a wish. Okay, Slep, I wish. I wish we would discover someone else out there among the stars. Ah. Don't be silly, Crumbella. Everyone knows there's no intelligent life out there. Ah, uh, that's true. Hello, Internet, and welcome back to more Space Quest V. So, last time we ended up on this fungal planet. Uh, we had a little kerfuffle attack and then started getting shot at. There was a whole lot happening and it's about to happen again. So, hello, person who's not behind the tree. I definitely don't know you're here. Hey, yeah! No! Alright, now we wrestle. Again, I don't know the purpose of this. Now we fall off a mushroom. Uh, help me, Wilco. I'm slipping. If only I had something for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll help you as soon as I have control of my facilities. Uh, yep, here come the goo shooters. Mmm. Uh-oh. Okay. Frock, deploy. There we go. So up she goes. I'm left to die. You know, this is a perfect time to make a phone call. Good thing I only need one of these hands. Flo, have Cliffy beam us out of here. It'll take a few moments to recalibrate the beam out coordinates, Captain. Please hang on for a minute. That's what I had in mind. Yeah. Uh-oh, Cliffy says your present orientation won't fit within the containment field transporter beam. There's a clearing a few meters from your position. Can you make it there? Uh, do I have any choice? Not really. Eureka out. That wasn't her voice at all. What voice am I doing? Anyway. Now we'll just dangle here for a minute until that vine comes down. There it is. Thank you. And... Don't worry, I'm making my way. Uh-oh. Too many super soakers. And... Ha-ha! Just a moment soon. Hello. Time to remove our masks. So yes, it is Miss Wankmeister. Uh, sorry, I tried to kick your butt back there on the planet, Captain Wilco. Thought you were one of those pukoid mutants. Call me Roger, and don't worry about it. Get called a pukoid mutant all the time. Oh. A bit of dramatic guitar. Do I just... Hello? Okay. Apparently I had to click on that one. Don't think I'm gonna make it, Roger. One of those bastards nicked me with that awful primordial soup. Eh, could use some salt. <clears throat> Don't worry, we'll fix you up. There's got to be a cure. And there doesn't have to be. I'm afraid not. The only thing you can do is slow down the mutation by putting me into cryogenic suspension. Alright, I know how to do that. Beatrice, you're asking me to freeze you? We were getting along so well. Alright. I must admit, I thought you were a real putz back at the academy, Roger. I, I kind of was. Uh, but you've turned out to be an okay guy. Maybe even more than okay. I wouldn't push it. But we don't have any time for that now. I'm probably not going to make it, and the Pukoids have, the, have to be stopped before they trash the entire Star Confederation. Alright. How? The Goliath could be parsecs away by now. We'll never catch them before they reach Starkon. Ah, oh, this is turning into a real drama. Could be a whole movie. Have this box. They aren't going to get far without this. It's the glass warp distributor cap. Ah. B, B, you're a genius. Pull the distributor cap off the engine. Classic trick. I know. Mm. Now put me in the cryo chamber. Quickly. I think Cliffy keeps his beer in there. What the? Who's that, Captain? Ambassador Wankmeister. She escaped from the Goliath. Their entire crew has been infected by some strange substance and are turning into hideous pukoid mutants. 
We gotta get her stabilized before she turns into one herself. What should I do? I'm an engineer, not a... Uh, I'm an engineer, not a doctor. You better do something quick, though. She... Quick, though, sir. She's starting to look a little green around the gills. She looks dead. Alright. Well... I'm pretty sure this was the chain. Yep, this chamber houses the Eureka's cryogenic cooler. Cliffy uses it to keep his corona light chilled to a frosty 4 degrees Kelvin when it is not otherwise occupied. Well, let's pop that bad boy. Maybe with this red button. Perfect. Uh, Pick up the corpse. I think it would. There we go. All right into the tube ah uh, dang it okay here you go back lie down here for a second let me open this tube all right now in you go uh and freeze uh you don't want to close the chamber yet trust us what do I do? I give her the stick? Okay. Uh, right. Is she already frozen? I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. A quick look at third party intervention has told me. Are you frozen in there? No. Uh, the monitoring equipment indicates Beatrice is in very poor health. Ah, uh, that's not good. Oh. Ah, yes. Uh, defrost, please. Probably not cook. Uh, cryo freeze. Dang, how many minutes do you freeze someone for? Uh, let's see if I can figure that out. Uh, all right. Someone probably tells you how, but I mean, who doesn't use a cryo freezer every now and again? It's common, <laughs> common kitchen appliance. B has been successfully placed in hibernation. The mutation process has been slowed, but she's not on the woods yet. Ah, well, there are no woods around. All right. Uh, do I have to look at it again? Uh, yeah, perfect hibernation. No, 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 no. Why can't I close the pod? Maybe I don't close the pod. Maybe the pod just stays like this now. Uh... Yeah, looks it. <clears throat> Alright, good job everybody. I'm gonna go take a nap. Let's see what's going on over here. Whoa. Look at that, it's like I'm really there. Alright crew, how's it going? Uh oh. We found we found the Goliath, sir. Or rather, she found us. The Goliath's approaching at high speed. She's arming her torpedoes. Uh oh. Uh well, quickly do something. Uh raise shields. Aye, aye Captain. Uh evasive action. It's probably smart. Uh we don't have any reason to retreat at present, Captain. I, I think we've got a reason or two. Uh, let's hail them and see what they want. No response, sir. Perhaps their comm system is out. Ah! Ow. They shot at us. They sure did. A brilliant observation flow. Well, don't just sit there, Captain. Do something. She's coming around again. Uh, right. Uh... Evasive action. 
but so that would take us directly into an asteroid field. And be suicide. Uh... I saw Star Wars. Uh... Let's do it. I should have saved. I'm sure it's the right decision. Aha! Ow. We're being hailed by the Goliath captain, putting it on screen. Ooh. Hello again, Wilco. Your insignificant little pimple on the behind of humanity. Speaking of pustules, Quirk, you've never looked better. Ha! You pathetic fool. You've no idea what you're up against. I should maybe do a more gurgly voice. I'm going to puke on every... That hurts. Uh, right. Not if I have anything to say about whatever you said. Ha! You puny ship is no match for the Goliath. Au revoir, broom jockey. The next time we, we, we meet, you won't be so lucky. U.S. Sprint. Uh, all right. Captain, I'm gonna have to make an AVA to repair the damage from the Goliath's attack. Great. Oh. Be careful, Cliffy. You said something. Yes, sir. Preparing to exit Pod Bay Airlock. All right. I'm heading towards the port stabilizer. Made it. All right. Ooh. This will only take a minute. I just need to make a few minor adjustments. Oops. Uh, hmm. The screen brightness went out. Okay. Okay, Captain. That's got her. I'm coming ba Oh. Adios, Cliffy. We will always remember you. Say, Captain. Or, yeah, say, Cap. Whatever his voice is. Am I just seeing things, or is that gentleman floating out there in space with the surprised expression on his face our chief engineer? You know? It might be. I'll be right back. Uh, actually, we're gonna save real quick because I don't know what to do. Uh... Okay. Well... Uh... Okay, maybe let's sit back down. Can I, like, track him with the ship? What function may... Uh, too many things. Uh... Never mind. Ow. We're getting pounded by things. Uh, act busy, abandon ship, no. Follow him. Uh, never mind. Okay. I think... Maybe I think we have to do this manually. So. He was in that suit. If I go out here in the pod, I think... Maybe I can go and grab him. Yes. Alrighty. Uh, how does this thing work? Yes, yes, yes. Not here. I walk to it. All right. I think there were some controls, actually. So let's check there. Uh, intercom? Hello? Uh, Cliffy, the savage, the microphone and speaker from this intercom to rig up a voice activated flush mechanism for the Eureka's head. When the resonant cube balked at having to say bombs away each time they used the facilities, he hooked it up. Uh, he hooked it up to the transponder unit or transporter unit instead. All right. Well, never mind that. Uh, rotate the pod. All righty. 
I'm going to do a quick save again because I feel like hitting the airlock button is a bad idea while I'm not in the thing, but I have to hit it here. So maybe it gives me a timer. I don't know. Uh, dang. Hopefully the shields are still up. Okay. Was this a bad decision? No! It was. Au revoir. Okay. Real spectacular. Right. So maybe I do that from in the thingy. Maybe I have that power. Yes, I do. Um. Right. Okay. Not be of any help. Oh boy. Uh. Well, this is thrust. No. Where is... Oh boy. I assume the red flashing dot is Cliffy. So... I... This is... Are you Cliffy? Oh! Legs! Hello! Uh... Arm extended? Grab him! Dang it. Okay. I don't have much... This thing's gas tank is... Kinda puny. Uh, let's... Okay. Get him! How do I... Not here. Not be of any help. Yeah, see, now I've left him. Uh... Oh. What was that? Target in range. Okay. Get him, boys. All right. Claw out. How do I get him? Well, this is confusing. Claw. I don't know how to do this. I'd expect, so the only thing I can do now is grab, but that, it says in range. Yeah, and that moves me too far ahead and I'm out of gas. If this pod ran on stupidity, you'd have nothing to worry about. As it is, you've exhausted your fuel supply and are caught in the gravity well of a nearby planet. The rest of your life should prove to be short, but exciting. Ah, that's all I can really ask for. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, look, Crumbella, shooting star. Make a wish. Okay, Slep, I wish. I wish. I wish we would discover someone else out there among the stars. Ah. Don't be silly, Crumbella. Everyone knows there's no intelligent life out there. Ah, that's true. Food. Fuelish human, you ran out of gas. Right. Okay, well, good thing I'm right here. <clears throat> so now I know I kind of wasted some fuel at the beginning. So I've got to be real precise with my actions. Right. Okay. So. Oh, I can see him down there. Okay. Right. 
right. Now just forward a thing it. Right. How do I get him in range? Oh. It was there very briefly. Okay. Target in range. But I don't... How do I get him? Because if I move any more forward... gonna run out of fuel again. It says in range, but I don't know how to actually deploy it far enough. None of these buttons seem to do anything. Cliffy looks kind of like the Michelin Man floating out there in space like that. Sure does. Wish I could get him. What is... Huh. This may be one of those situations where it's just real tricky. Uh, let me... I'm going to pause real quick and see if I can figure out what I'm meant to be doing. So, back in just a moment. Okay. There we go. I don't know why it decided to just, you know what, screw it. Uh, that's fine, it works. Uh, right, Cliffy has been somethinged. Now, with my very little fuel, I need to get us... Back to the Eureka. Which hasn't worked. Uh, right. Well, that's fine. A shooting star. There's no life in the universe. Uh, right. Well, we're going to try that again. Okay. So I think I can do it without wasting a bunch of fuel this time. So you have to have the arm out already. And then when it says target lock, hit the claw. So I'm just gonna extend my little arm out now. Did I have to have the claw open? Oh, that's it. You can actually close the claw again. That's what I did, correct, on accident. Okay. Let's get into position. Damn it. Come on, Cliffy. This may not be my run either. Okay. Here he is. 
Like, I'd love to be able to get you. Maybe the thing has to be... There it was, just briefly. Okay. Now let's get him. Uh, right, you can't retract it. And we're dead. Wow, this is tricky. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Restore. Let's get out there. Fifth time's a charm. Okay. High precision is what we need. So we spin ourselves around till he's dead ahead. Put our claw out. Get in nice and close. Oh, there he is. Okay. Claw engaged. Right. Now, bring her around to the Eureka. And there we go. Good flying ace, you've returned to the safety of the Eureka. All right, Cliffy deployed. That is success. You okay, Cliffy? Just give me a minute to rest and catch my breath, sir. And yeah, that makes sense. Thanks for pulling my butt out of the stand out of the sling again, Captain. That's two I owe ya. Think nothing of it, Chief. I don't remember the first time. Okay, I won't. But you need to get us out of here, sir. I don't know how much longer Dorika can stand the pounding she's taking. Yeah, that's fair. Uh right. Uh elevator, engage. <laughs> Let's see if we can't boogie. Uh, now I wonder. Oh boy, I don't know quite what to do or where to go. Uh, okay. Well, looking at my third party help, it looks like now so we don't have a set destination, but we have the code for that genetics lab, which seems to be somewhat connected to all this. So, if we head in there, oh, oh, oh. uh, land of course, four, one, six, six, six. Now, hopefully we don't hit one of these rocks on our way out. Okay, well that solves that. Uh... Let's boogie. So, we'll head for the genetics lab and see what's happening. Uh... Is there any way we can get through... Yeah. Uh, the Goliath is jamming all transmissions, Captain. I'm try that's Cliffy's voice. I'm trying to burn through, but there's not much I can do. She's got one of those new terawatt ECM suites. Keep trying, Flo. How are you doing, Jewel? Uh the idea is to stop it? I don't know, sir. If we could sneak up on them somehow. Maybe sneak aboard and get control of their ship, but they'd see us coming a mile away on their scanners. What about a frontal assault? 
Even with my stunning accuracy, it would be a Googleplex one shot, sir. We'd probably be vaporized. That one was hard to read, though. Part of that's because the uh, microphone boom was in the way. Alrighty. Uh, can I talk to those? No, I can't. Now, interesting idea. They suggested going stealth. We're approaching our... Well, whatever his voice is. We're approaching our destination. Uh... Right. Let's hit it to regular speed. I think if we can get... If Cliffy got the stealth thing working... Ooh. We might be able to... Uh... Hide ourselves. Let's do standard orbit. And I think this will be a next time type of situation. So yeah, we'll see what is going on at this very comfortable and lovely looking genetic research place. Uh, it's a lovely little dome. So yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. Feel free to check out any of the other stuff I've done. And until next week, bye bye.